Okay, so here's my compost thermometer with the long probe. And I'm just going to put it into the pile here and see what it says. Uh, this is pretty hot, but I think it's cooled down a little bit. It was uh, saying about 160, 150, or 160, but we wanted around 150. And now I can see it's lowered itself. This is not quite as hot as it was yesterday, um, which is great because, you know, one of the problems with an aerated static pile is sometimes the temperature gets too hot and that kills the working microbes that you want and it just, it, it creates momentum that can be hard to control. This pile is beautifully set at about 150. Oh, that's just right. So I'm going to try this in a couple other spots. Make sure that's the average. And sure enough, it looks to be the average temperature. I'll give this a second to go up. Make sure it doesn't uh, keep going. But if you look at this pile, it looks mostly just like dirt. And that's because it is. <laughs> now, this is the cap level. So on top of the manure and the rotten vegetables, and all the other things we have put into this pile, which are high in nitrogen, to combine with the um, the manure and some of the hay and some of the carbonous materials we do, uh, you cap this with a pile of dirt, which is right over there. This is actually the pile that we used to cap, and you can see where we dug it out there a little bit. And this is just uh, some old potting mix that a, uh, a greenhouse gardener has dropped off. And it makes an excellent cap level layer, I should say, because you don't want the manure and the vegetables and all this to be exposed because that attracts flies and you lose nitrogen and it smells and all of these things. And what you're looking for is a nice clean pile with no bugs, no obnoxious smells, and you want all that heat on the inside. As you can see, we're as I let this thing kind of creep up, we're closer to 160. Uh, 158 is technically the temperature where you start to see the loss of microbes. And we're right there. And that's not, a, not the worst thing in the world. It, it's better to have a pot, pile that's too hot than too cold, generally speaking, or more specifically, too hot than not wet enough. So we're going to try to wait this out a little bit and see if it comes down naturally. Because, like I said, we've taken the air way down on this to, uh, to kind of try to starve the microbes of their oxygen a little bit. Because uh, we started out at a little bit too hot, about one minute every 30 minutes. And we should have probably started off about 30 seconds every one minute. You can see there it's creeping towards 160. Yeah, a little bit too hot, but not bad, not bad. This is our first air raid static pile using manure. Manure is a wonderful substance because you really don't have to add much to it. It's already around the 30 to one ratio you're looking, 30 parts carbon to one part nitrogen. That makes a perfect compost. And this is the little box I built, a little weatherproof box inside that. There's just your standard quarter horsepower squirrel cage fan turns on just every so often for just 15 seconds and then feeds this pipe. This pipe doesn't go anywhere, but this will eventually feed a pile over here. Waiting on an earth mover to a little tractor to do this work because uh, me and my roommate Caleb, my good friend Caleb, built this pile by hand and it took us about five hours of very intensive shoveling work. It was very, very difficult and at the end of it we uh, we could really appreciate something to move Earth because this is probably about ah, about four or five uh, cubic yards, and like I said, that took us about five hours to to produce. And underneath all of this, right around where the pipe goes through, so this pipe will connect. This is a solid pipe. Oh, and here's the fan kicking on, and you can hear it going, pushing air into my pile and it just dies after 10 seconds because we're just giving it a little breath. And anyway, this will connect to an irrigation pipe which has two holes facing at the on the clock, four and eight at the bottom. And you go through 
and we'll add another one here. And look here, coming over is a beekeeper. Over here are some hives that are being done on this uh, fine uh, educational entertainment farm. Hello, how you doing today? I'm fine. I'm Harvey Newman. I'm a volunteer here. Oh, it's good to meet you. I'm Scotty Sheridan. I'm a volunteer as well. Oh, uh, I was just making a little video about the aerated static pile that we're creating. Yes. We're very excited about this. Where This is um, a chance to do some living compost soil in there. And we were just checking the temperature. It's a nice 160 degrees inside that pile. And uh, we have a little fan there that turns on 30 minutes, every 30 minutes for 10 seconds. Just Fascinating. To I, puff I'm sorry air into to there. Interrupt. Not at all. Not at all. It's, it's good to say hi. Um, beekeepers are some of my favorite people. Uh, I love real honey. It's so hard to come by too, because um, people you pasteurize. Real, you're, you're unpasteurized right. honey is very, very difficult so to come by. It. Would you rather it just not be recorded? Oh, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I, if if you're okay with it, I'm just gonna go for another couple minutes here while I make this video. Um, sure. But uh, yeah, I'm just documenting this aerated static pile that we built here. Wonderful. Yeah, we're very excited about this. This is our first go uh, with a commercial size pile. And here it is. Anyway, I appreciate y'all. Thanks.